Hello, this is Dan Alford with ARC Specialties. We have something a little different for you today. This is John Stoll. He's our new salesman. He's been doing some market research, and he's been looking at some of the competitors' systems for welding pipe. And he asked me, why in the world are the operators continuously touching the controls and making adjustments? I said, there's absolutely no reason in the world. To me, the definition of a robot is programmable, multi-axis, and autonomous. Autonomous means it runs without intervention. Our system scans the pipe, creates a program based on the knowledge of three of us who are certified pipe welders, and then makes the weld. So to demonstrate this today, we're going to have John with his Hawaiian shirt and his beach chair weld a pipe for you. As Dan said, my name is John Stoll and I'm new with ARC Specialties. I've been in the business 40 to 45 years, but on the process and procedure side, not necessarily on the automation side. So I have questions. And I was online looking at, at the competitors' information concerning artificial intelligence pipe welding systems, automated pipe welding systems. And what I found going online and watching their, their videos is that the, the operator has to constantly jiggle the joystick back and forth, up and down. They have to move the torch up and down to maintain uh, the right height. To me, that is not automated welding. Automated welding, in my opinion, is I get everything set up, get the pipe set up, I get the torch there, I get all the parameters taken care of, I hit the button, I sit down, I read my paper, drink my coffee. It should take care of it from the time I start on an open route until the cat pass is finished and it's ready to be taken out or moved to the next joint. So now I'm going to take and load the pipe into the machine and scan it and then we're finally gonna weld it and you'll see what I'm talking about here in real time. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on my gloves and we're gonna go over here and load this part. Okay, this is a six inch Schedule 80 pipe. And we're loaded. Okay, we're ready to do a scan. I'm gonna push the button. The machine is gonna come down and do the scan of the joint, telling us exactly where it's gonna to need to start and what's gonna happen. So here we go, one, two, Now what the unit is doing now is it's finding the, the width of the joint, the uh, mismatch, the location of the tacks, all the information it needs to use the algorithm that's programmed into it to make the final weld. Okay, step two, we've finished the scan. Now all that's left is to push the button for the weld. Okay, we're ready to put in a root pass. Let me get the paper out, get my coffee ready. Notice the arc mug, and we're welding. The real challenge in automating full penetration, single-sided V-butt welds is the variation in joints. We found that using a collaborative robot, artificial intelligence, and Miller RMD welding, we're able to compensate for a huge range of these variables. We can handle high-low up to 332nd of an inch, and we can handle any gap from 1 16th to 3 16th of an inch without any human intervention. Okay, so the root pass is done. We're gonna get up, we're gonna inspect it, and we're going to either clean or leave it, and then we're gonna hit the start button to do the fills and caps. So we've done the root pass, we've looked at it, it meets our, our criteria. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna hit the well button for the fill and cap passes. Uh, the only reason to stop now would be to clean again or because of interpass temperature control. So with that being said, we hit the well button, and we go and sit and finish our paper. If you watch closely, you'll see some subtle differences between the root pass and the hot fill and cap. For the root pass, we use Miller RMD. It's optimized for full penetration, single-sided welding. But when we're doing the hot fill and cap, we actually move the torch closer to top dead center and we switch to pulse spray to ensure good sidewall fusion. Okay, so after roughly 13 minutes of welding time, arc on time, we've got a completed six inch Schedule 80 pipe weld, open route, no assistance, pushing the button to start, pushing the button to start it again after the route pass and waiting for it to complete. That's automated pipe welding. Hi, I'm Dave Hevel with ARC Specialties Technical Services, and we're going to test John's weld. To do that, we're going to cut a couple of side bend specimens out of the pipe. 
We're going to put them in the wraparound bend tester and we'll bend them around an inch and a half mandrel. After bending, we'll inspect the welds for any discontinuities like porosity or lack of fusion. Hey, hey John, while you were out enjoying lunch, I went ahead and cut the pipe, did a couple of side bends, and as you can see, they are spotless clean. You passed with well, flying thank you, colors. Thank yeah, you, thank you did a good job. We're going to make a welder out of you. And because of that performance, we have a welding operator performance qualification record with your name on it. You are qualified to run this machine. Excellent. As you've seen today, just about anybody can pass a welding test if they're properly prepared and the equipment is autonomous and will take care of itself. With that being said, I invite you to visit the ARC Specialties website. Go to YouTube and see our videos. Follow us on LinkedIn to stay up to date on our current projects. Or you can call me direct. At ARC Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.